Okay guys, welcome back. Just excuse me. As you can see, I'm a golf coach, guys, and not a, a video production guy. Not organ. Now, somebody asked about uh, how to work the ball with channel on. Well, guys, there's really there's not a lot of need to work the ball with channel lock. Channel lock is basically a straight ball or a little draw shot. If you're someone that likes to cut the ball and move it a lot, channel lock's not for you because you can't cut the ball with channel lock. Why? Because we don't swing across the line ever with channel lock and you must swing across the line to get a, a proper cut. We can push fade the ball, no trouble. We can push draw the ball and sling it, no trouble. We can hit a little fade but essentially all the shots guys will be straight to draw to push fade. If you want to hit, if you hit a bad tee shot, and you shouldn't if you're playing channel lock, but if you hit a bad tee shot and you're way over and you've got to get the ball really moving around a dog leg to the right if you're a right hander and you would normally you know, cut sling it around there, well you can't. You just have to aim to the centre of that or to the left of that open the face way up and then just push fade it around and you can get it to move big time so if there's a limitation with with channel lock is you can't cut the ball you can't put cut spin on the ball and for the sake of saying okay can't do that and the amount of times that happens it, it's guys it's a trade-off certainly worth um, certainly worth the trade-off so so what do I want to do if I want to if I just want to hit a power draw with channel lock well it's the same setup as normal but I actually back cock a little more and I play the ball back a bit further because I want to, I want to be able to trap this, trap the ball when I hit it. I want to be trap rolling the face. I'm going to shut the face down. I'm going to have an attack angle maybe 15 degrees into out from a really back ball position, and I'm going to have maybe eight degrees closed on my club face. So I'm going to be firing it into out significantly. I'm going to be trap rolling it as I hit it. That's how I get a, a, a you know, a really hard slinging draw. So I play it back further. I shut the face down more. I back cock more. And there's the sling draw. <laughs> Boy, that's a nice shot. But that this is the action, guys. I'm firing it there. Firing it out there with the sling draw, but a lot of emphasis into out with a lot of shutdown, more shutdown on the shoulders than normal. Now that's the sling draw. And that was a beautiful shot. Want to hit a little push, fade. Okay, not as far back, but we just opened the club face, guys. We aim further left, so that we're going to push the ball to the target. So we're still going to be into out. We've got an open club face. We're just going to push it to the target. There it is, there's a, and it's a, and it's pinky up guys. See that's a little push fade. How much they move into that wind? 10 yards. But it's pinky up, of course. Whereas the trap draw, it's pinky down. That's pinky. Pinky down for the trap draw, pinky up for the push fade. There's no cut, you can't, because we can't get across the line guys. You would just have to revert to your old conventional golf swing if you wanted to uh, to hit a cut. I don't ever want to hit a cut anymore. 
so so shot making with with um, with channel lock is, is is very very simple. I just hit a couple of shots this way. I just show you what the action looks like this way. Going to hit a trap draw. So I'm going to aim a little bit, play the ball further back. Just tried to trap that a bit too much. That was a really hard slinger. Now it's, it's something I don't do, guys. It, I, I don't try and hit those type of shots. Um, I usually work with a with a modicum of movement. But I mean, you know, and I really tried to trap that, and, and that was too much of a trap draw. I don't want that much. I mean, that 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 started out there, and then that moved like 20 yards. I'll just take a bit off. I'll move it about, you know, 12, 15 yards. There it is there. See this release here, guys? There's a the trap release here. That's about 15 yards. Now we're going to hit the now I'm going to hit the push fade. It's far into my mind, that, that other shot where I slightly mishit it. It's hard for me because I don't try and do extreme things. I don't like extreme things because I'm not programmed to do extreme things in the golf swing. I'd rather just take my medicine and hit a uh, a not so extreme shot but if you want to hit that that's what it was now this is a sort of a push fade with a fair bit on it now the wind is left to right so it's gonna it's gonna fade quite a lot See the difference? That's beautiful. See the difference, guys? Pinky up. Pinky up for the for the push fade. That's a beautiful push fade. Pinky up. Trap draw. Pinky down. Trap draw release. Push fade release. Low shots, high shots. We'll just hit a, a burner here into this wind. How do I hit a low shot with channel lock? I still hit into out guys, but I really do, I do, do really do sort of, I pressure down. That's all I can say. As I come in, I pressure down with the hands. I have low hands through the ball, very light. Mo used to call it knuckle dragging, skinning the knuckles. Try and skin your knuckles on the ground. That gets the hand down low and gets a lot of pressure on the ball and low hands and that'll give you the burner. <clears throat> we already play the ball back so it's ideal for a burner. Just put the hands a little bit further forward if you want to take even more loft off the shot. Um, if you want to. See the finish here guys, low hands, low hands and a low shot. Now that's a great shot into the wind, low spin shot. And I'm different with my my low shots, guys. I don't beat down on the ball. You beat down on it, you put spin on it. You don't want that into the wind. I sweep it. I actually scrape it. 
You don't want to beat down on it. You beat down on it, you put spin on. That's the last thing you want when you hit into the wind. You do not want spin on the shot. Okay, we'll hit a real burn. Sit into the haunches. See that release there guys? That's a trap. Here. High shot. Guys, I've just always been a very uncomplicated person. To hit the ball high, I just hit up. I just let the club go up. I just hit up. What do I mean by that? I do that. I just take the club up, as Count Yogi would say, up the, arrow, up the arrow line of flight. That's all I do, guys. I stay back and I fire the club up. There's nothing... You know, it's nothing scientific about it. I just hit up. Now this is into the wind, so this is going to just climb. See high hands there guys, big high, high shot. That's very high shot. So, to advise you, just hit up. Still hit into out, but just hit up. What do you hit up with? I just hit up with... with my hands, with a wrist type action. I don't change the ball position. It's just such a high shot. Invariably it fades because you're hitting high and you're holding the blade open and it left to right, well straight into us but a cross head wind but that's a beautiful shot, it's very high so it's uncomplicated and I've never been one to complicate you know, working the ball anyway So, so say guys you want a shot into a green and you've got to set it down really softly on a green and it calls for you know like a hard six iron well what I do is I would get a five iron and I put the same swing on it but I hit the ball off the toe out here now this is advanced shot making but that's, that's the de-energised part of the golf club. That doesn't have, you know, the, the meat and potatoes impact capability. When I hit shots over a bunker to set it down with the sand on, I always hit it off the toe of the club because that's the de-energised part of the club. And you don't get any hit on the shot, it just falls out of the sky. I do that with my short shots. I've got a really, you know, look like a little soft shot. So you get a five iron and you just think, okay, same shot, but I'm going to hit it off the toe. And you can go after it, but you know that you're gonna, you are gonna—you don't have to jump all over that 6-iron. You've got plenty of club with the 5-iron, but it's just not going to bazooka. It's going to go as far as the 6-iron, but you've got the 5-iron insurance policy. So you just hit it off the toe. So this is 5-iron to a 6-iron flag that I've got to sit it down really, really softly. You've only got to hear that, guys. Hear how it's a sort of a, a dull, clacky sound? That's because it's not right in the middle of the golf club. And, of course, what it does, guys, is it absolutely guarantees guards against you over-releasing the golf club. But see, it's sort of a... It's not a clunky shot, it's just an unimpressive impact 
sound because we're not on the impact part of the golf club. But that would have been a perfect shot for that flag. And I, and, and I find that when I hit it off the toe, it wants to talk the face open a little bit, so it has a propensity to just fade. Push fade, so I just aim it left. And that was exactly that shot. They just faded back to the, to the, uh, to the, to the marker sign out there. So if you want to hit a, a de-energised shot, you just hit it off the toe. Ground is just like a bog, guys. See, that's right off the toe. Come on, Jack. That's perfect. Hear that? Hear that sound of an anemic sound? That's right off the tone. That's just a little push away fade. Okay guys, that's just a couple of ways of... Uh... I just hit that toe shot with the driver. I hit it a lot. Especially if I'm on a hole where there's water down the left. I mean, you don't pull the ball with channel like anyway, but traditionally, with an old swing, just hit the ball off the toe with his water down the left and the ball can never ever go left. So it'll be sort of a low spin sort of peel off fade. Such a pretty shot, guys. I mean, I can feel it when I hit it that it's nowhere near the sweet spot and it's out here, but uh, still a lot of integrity. I mean, just a tiny little, you know, two yard power fade. But you know, I could stand here with a million dollars on the line and someone say, hit 50 drives here, and the first one goes in the water on the left. Um, you lose the money. I could hit the 50 because I ain't going left. Not when I hit it off the toe. Especially, I'm not going left with channel lock anyway. So I can't hit a pull shot, but I'm just not going to um, not going to go left. And it's a great shot into this wind, believe it or not. It's a great shot. So guys, there's, I can't tell you a lot about shot making with channel lock because it's very uncomplicated. There's not a lot in it. Really not a lot in it. Need to drive this way. The reliability of that shot is, is off the scale. So you can hit 50 drives, you're never going to hit one left. I mean, not one. Same shot guys, a little toe fade. Doesn't move much, it just rifles like that. Okay guys, that's all I can tell you about shot making. Not a lot in it with uh, with channel. 
lot of ways it's good you won't get into as much trouble with channel lock as um, conventional swing so you won't need the facility so much of of uh, having to get out of trouble with with, with trouble shots okay guys